Hi guys, welcome back to Salt and Light. Well, we've got some exciting news. Uh, we've got the keys to the boathouse. Uh, so today's video is going to have uh, just a short one, just to show you the inside of the boathouse of where we're going to be building uh, Salt and Light and have a bit of a look around. Also I want to talk a little bit about the process of why I chose the Dix 470 as a project for me. So let's come on inside and have a look. So this is where we're going to be building uh, Salt and Light. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a great facility. It is going to be not without its challenges. The overall height of the boat is about 37.50 high from the bottom of the hull to the top of the cabin roof. Now the opening of the door here which leads out to the water is uh, 4 metres and 50 so it's, it fits but will be tight. And one of the exciting things for me, if you've ever been to Japan and uh, experienced the toilets here in Japan, uh, this one is fitted with a, a washlet, which is fantastic. I really enjoy those little creature comforts. So we've already got a little bit of gear in here at the moment. We're waiting for the fire department to come in and install fire and smoke detectors. We won't be able to do a lot of work until uh, that's done. Well today I wanted to talk a little bit about the decision behind um, to build the Dix 470. The first uh, thing that uh, attracted me to the build and this particular design uh, was that it is a plywood and epoxy construction which coming from a pattern making background is certainly suited to my skill set and so that was definitely the number one reason why I chose this design. Second is that it is a really good looking boat. It has got some really nice lines and uh, I think it, it's, a, it's a really stunning boat. The third is the, um, the balance between comfort and performance and uh, whilst this is a performance uh, catamaran uh, it has struck a really good balance between the comfort and the performance. This design has two options. You can build it with dagger boards or with uh, mini keels. And initially I was planning to build it with uh, dagger boards mainly because uh, of fitting within this building. Uh, this building has a little bit of height limitations uh, and we wouldn't actually be able to fit it out of the boathouse um, with the mini keels attached. So I, my initial thinking was that the dagger boards would be a better option in terms of getting the boat out of uh, the boathouse. After talking to Exocetus Marine and uh, Dudley Dix, the designer, um, we, I changed my mind and decided that I will go with the mini keels, mainly because it's easier to build. Uh, I will have to put the keels on after we leave uh, the boathouse once we get it outside, but that's okay. That's not a problem. All right. So apart from the uh, the the height limitation of this building, there is there is just one other small small um, issue. Um, not an issue. Well, yes, an issue that we will have to cross literally cross when it comes to um, getting the boat out of the boathouse and I will uh, show you some footage of that now. So you can see here that there is a uh, canal and the canal is about seven metres wide. Initially it would be really good to have been able to drop the boat into this and then sail it out. Um, but the boat is 7.7 .7 metres wide and the canal is only seven metres wide. So we're going to have to work out a way of being able to traverse this canal to get the boat out. If anyone has any ideas on how I can do that, I'm open to hear any ideas. We've got uh, a couple of years to uh, work out 
that solution, so it's not urgent, but uh, it'd be nice to hear if anyone has any great ideas on how I can do that. So if you're interested in seeing more about the building of uh, Salt and Light, uh, please subscribe. Uh, that way uh, you will keep up to date with uh, where I'm at and how the project is going. Now next week we're going to be starting to lay out centre lines and looking at how and where I'm going to start building this. Now the build is still a few weeks away. The, uh, the project, the kit won't arrive until the end, towards the end of March. Um, and that's when we'll really start getting the building. So there'll be just some little short videos between now and then. Um, just to keep you up to date with where we're going with the project. See you later.